Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash, and double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to do a response to this video uploaded by all right, the elder brother Karataza, GMS. All right, Las Vegas, as you can see his page. GMS Vegas sit downs 144 GA G A. Subscribe and be edified. The title of this video is Vocab Haman Malone asks, Does the Bible tell the Israelites how to uh, how to identify with being Israelites? And again, um, you know, the uh, natural man won't receive the things of the spirit you know ultimately we're going to listen to the question um basically vocab malone you know ran up on these uh these brothers out here and uh i believe they're in london somewhere and you know watching the video you know they weren't fully prepared you know to defend the gospel all right and uh one of the uh elders of the uh, london camp did a video you know getting on them basically saying you know make sure you prepare to defend the gospel before you go out there um it wasn't a good look you know exhorting them to learn the breakdowns and you know they respond to his video saying nobody was confounded you know uh you got hate in your heart you know vocab told us we did better than y'all and it's just like come on bro <laughs> come on man come on bro Y'all y'all went out here, all right, and vocab ran up on y'all, and y'all looked bad. Brothers were just exhorting you to hey, learn the breakdowns, you know, those particular points that Christians come with, you know, dealing with Abraham and so forth. You know, you have to be, you know, uh, ready to defend the gospel, not just blurting stuff out, all right? But nonetheless, you know, uh, vocab is going to use it, you know, um, as a victory for himself, you know, now uh, we have to come behind and, you know, deal with it as we always do, you know, and, you know, sometimes we just leave it where it is, but sometimes the spirit hops on us. We may need a title for a video. The spirit hops on us to do a video responding to things. That's just how we operate through the Holy Spirit, you know. So um, let's listen to this uh, question he asked them and then let's just get the scriptures. I mean, this has been asked many times. You know, they're trying to, you know, um, use, you know, uh, they, basically they want us to doubt what we're into, what, what's happening. You know, as you look around the world, clearly you see there's a, a, a large amount of people, although in the grand scheme of things, it's a s small amount. But there's a lot of people coming to the understanding that they're Israelites and they just so happen to be so-called black you know, Hispanics and Native Americans. And you're seeing that on a large scale. And vocab is trying to put his finger on why. And when we go into the prophecies and show him why, he won't accept it. So he's going around the planet Earth trying to force our people to, you know, accept, you know, plantation Christianity. All right. And to uh, ultimately doubt that they are Israelites. He doesn't want you to be an Israelite. He just wants you to be a nigga. You know, they're, they're far more comfortable, you know, seeing our people with tattoos all over their body, all over their face, your pants sagging, you know, and that, that ditzy, stupid look. They, 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 they love that. But to see you calling yourselves Israelites, you know, it's really offensive to them. And this is all prophetic as well. Everybody's in their lot. So let's listen to this uh, question that he asked them. And then we'll get the scriptures. Say you fulfill the curses of Deuteronomy 2868. Yeah. The question I have about that is, does the Bible ever tell Israelites the way they should figure out their Israelites by telling them to figure out what curses they fit? No, I mean, does the Bible ever instruct you? Does it ever say that you got to figure out who you are by curses? So you heard the question. Basically, 
Where in the Bible does it say you would use the curses to identify that you're the Israelites? Well, where in the Bible, all right, does it say that the Israelites will return to the land via the Balfour Declaration and be, all right, have a have a military going and bombing, rape, robbing, and murdering Palestinians? Anyway, when you get the uh, scriptures, this is a simple answer. All right, because when we bring out the curses of uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, okay, um, clearly, you know, the argument a lot of people make, these Christians, is that some of these things were already fulfilled. And they're, they're, they're correct in that sense, that a lot of these curses, all right, happened, all right, in various captivities that the Israelites went into, and they follow us until this day. As a matter of fact, the scriptures say, all right, because you read about the curses of a siege. Yeah, that was had that happened in Babylon when we were in captive in Babylon. All right, that happened uh, the, uh, in the Greeks. That happened amongst the Romans where we were in famine, you know, uh, eating our own children. You know, those curses were fulfilled, all right, in various different captivities. All right, but the scriptures tell us, all right, that these, uh, these curses would be a sign and a wonder Deuteronomy 28 and 46 says, all right, and this basically was the curse that would fall on the Israelites for breaking that first covenant, right? Deuteronomy 28, all right, and 45, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, all right, in a spiritual sense, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments, and the statues which he commanded thee, and they shall be on thee for a sign and a wonder upon thy seed forever. Okay? The, these, these horrors will serve as a sign and a warning among you. Let's look up the word sign. I never looked that up. All right? A wath. All right? A signal, a distinguishing mark, a miraculous sign, a token. All right, a standard proof, proof. So the curses would serve as proof. All right, when you look at what has uh, happened to our people, right? These curses are proof, all right, that we could very well be the, the Israelites. All right, but more importantly, it would be the spirit. Now, when you get Deuteronomy, the, the uh, 30th chapter, okay? Deuteronomy the 30th chapter and the first verse it says and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee the blessing and the curse which I set before thee all right and we received you know uh, the the blessing you know to a degree under you know King David and King Solomon we had 40 years of peace the United Kingdom of Israel all right which eventually that kingdom was uh, rent and split and since then we've been scattered and we've went into all of these various different captivities pursuing the Daniel, the seventh chapter, the final captivity will be the revival of the uh, fourth beast, which was the Roman empire. And we're living in that right now. See these Christians and vocab Malone, they don't wanna deal with, with, with uh, the Bible pursuant to prophecy. The Israelites would not return to their land via a Balfour declaration. They will return to that land via the heavenly father sending his son to deliver them, perfecting them, destroying Babylon the Great, okay, and then uh, the, the, the Israelites coming back down from that chariot, from that deliverance, which is all written in the scriptures, and setting up the throne of David on earth as it is in heaven. Isn't that in the prayer, on earth as it is in heaven? So the, 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 that land, all right, starting at Jerusalem, all right, will be the uh, the the uh, starting point of a government being established on earth. So right here it says, ultimately, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee. So we would have went through the blessing under Solomon, and now we fulfilled the curse, almost at the very end of it which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among the nations. So among the nations, we will call these things to mind. All right? Thou shalt call them to mind. Shawab is the Hebrew word for call. We will return. 
All right, we we will return. We will call these things to mind. We will bring back, which takes us to what's written in the book of uh, Baruch, Baruch, the second chapter. In the 30th verse, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. See, the Israelites will be captive, all right, in Babylon the Great, which is the, 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 the modern day Egypt, and scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, as a uh, punishment, all right, being scattered is a punishment, okay? It says, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. They're going to call it to mind and shall know that I am the Lord, their, their power. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. So the Lord will give us a spirit to understand why these things happen to us. And yes, the curses would be an indicator. All right? We, because, you know, the, the we, we're questioning why we're in this situation. Why has the Lord allowed all of these atrocities to happen to us as a people? You know, our people are marching. You know, they're complaining. Here it is. You got the northern kingdom there. You know, this was their land. Right, they were over here and they just got slaughtered and it's celebrated every year they celebrate the slaughtering of the so-called native americans right so you you why did these things happen to us yeah bad things happen to all nations right but the, the, it was something special about what happened all right to our people and the lord would give us understanding as to why via prophets being sent the valley of dry bones it would be the prophets that came and gave understanding of these things, which the Lord would send through the Holy Spirit, all right, for men to be raised up. See? So we're going to remember the name. We're going to return from our stiff neck, all right, and shall remember the ways of their fathers which sin before the Lord. And the sins are what cause the curses. See? So we would come to a, a state of obedience amongst our or the land of our captivities and remember ourselves. See, and the Lord, then the Lord says, and I will bring them again into the land, which I promised. All right. With an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God. And they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people Israel out of the land, which I've given them. Now, the question is, are the people over there, all right, calling themselves Jews, are they, are they a fulfillment of this? Did they fulfill this? What is their st uh, standard of marking themselves as the, the, the Israelites of the Bible? You notice he doesn't ask them though, that question. See, when you start to ask him those questions, then he says, I'm agnostic concerning prophecy. We don't know. But at, out of the same breath, he'll say that they're justified in taking up arms and defending themselves because that land belongs to them. See, this is a, a, a the the, uh, the fork tongue devil that the Native Americans they say he speaks with a double tongue because that's what he does and that's what he's doing. He's making this big deal out of us proclaiming that we're the chosen people of the Lord and Israelites. All right, but but uh. He, 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 at the same time, he has no smoke for the people who are actually over there bombing people because that's their land. Call to mind, all right, Labab, all right, is the word, the inner man, all right, mind, thinking, memory, reflection, inclination. So the Lord will give us a conscience in, in, in our minds. Okay, let's read it again. Deuteronomy 30 and 1. And it shall come to pass when all of these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among the nations whither the Lord have driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice via his prophets. Okay, the voice of the Heavenly Father is his prophets. Let's get that in the book of Daniel, the ninth chapter, in the 10th verse. 
Daniel 9 and 10 says what? Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our power to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Right? Yea, all Israel have transgressed the law, even by departing, that they may not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, as is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. So wouldn't it make sense that, you know, we in the latter days, we, we wake up and find out we're Israelites and we call to mind because look at our people. Look at how wicked they are. Look how rebellious they are. But a remnant will return. All right. A remnant will return. And this is what this is talking about. See. He says, and thou shalt return unto the Lord thy God. And shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, all right, with all thine heart and soul. Okay? So what what's the problem? I thought under Jesus Christ everybody can be saved. We're all Israelites spiritually, right? That's the Christian doctrine. When you start to talk about the Israelite, well, it's not talking about the physical descendants of uh, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Anyone who believes in Jesus is counted as Abraham's seed. So, hey, what's the problem then? Why? What is this big deal? You're you're in Europe finding Israelites. What are you doing? Go enjoy the land. He set up. All right, he set up, but. The bottom line is, all right, we've awakened to who we are, and it's prophetic, all right? This is prophecy being fulfilled, all right? And they got a problem with it. Isaiah 44, all right? And, and uh, two, but thus said the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob my servant and thou Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. He's talking to the remnant. Fear not because we're going to wake up and proclaim these things in the land of our captivity. So what do you think the captive, the, 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 the rulers are going to think? So it's going to put us in a very, very vulnerable situation. We're in a threat of imminent death. We're proclaiming we're the Israelites. You're the Edomites. Y'all the heathen. All right. Uh, uh, Y'all are going down. The people who have been proclaiming themselves to be the chosen people all of these years, it's a lie. Right. So the, the Lord is telling us to fear not. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. What is the dry ground? The dry bones spoken of in the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, which also foretells this great awakening. See. And I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and I blessing upon and my blessing upon thy offspring, your children. We are the offspring of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See what I'm saying? And they shall spring up, okay, as among the grass, as willows by the watercourses. Meaning they will, everywhere you look, you see Israelites popping up. This is prophetic, and it's getting on their nerves. It's even getting on our own people's nerves. They're doing videos. I'm so goddamn tired. Every time you walk outside, you see these Israelites. Well, the Lord did that. Because you niggas get on our nerves. Granted, you do got some weird camps, you know, patronizing people as they walk by for no goddamn reason. All right, you see a dude walking with his woman, and she just so happened to be a heathen woman or look like a heathen, and you screaming out Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. When Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, was talking about the seven nations who we were not to make any covenants or marriages with. That was those Hamite nations. But further on down, all right, the line in Deuteronomy 21, we receive instruction on how to take concubines of the heathen we did conquer outside of those nations, man. So yeah, you do got some weirdo Israelites out there that are, you know, just annoying. But the bottom line is overall, the Lord has ordained this great awakening, right? So the Lord said he will pour his spirit upon the offspring of the Israelites. Okay. This is what the Lord is doing. Okay. So he, 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 he's, he's promised the Holy Spirit to be sent. Okay. 
and it enhance the comforter and they shall spring up as among grass by the willow courses by the water courses okay one shall say i am yahweh's and another shall call himself by the name of jacob another shall subscribe with his hand unto the lord and surname himself by the name of israel so this is happening all right not by the will of man all right we when we were born we had no idea we would be doing this a year before we woke up to the truth we had no idea we would be doing this a day before we woke up to the truth we didn't have no idea we were doing this we were basically born into the earth to fulfill all right these prophecies and you were born into the earth to fulfill this okay so yeah we use the curses as indicators to to ultimately make you know receive closure on why this has happened to us why wouldn't you want that <laughs> you don't want us to have closure on why we got our asses kicked all right throughout the four corners of the earth of course so we go to the curses like damn this is why and the final curse tells us we were going to slavery on slave ships all right revelation 11 all right and eight and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which is spiritually called sodom and egypt where our lord was crucified you christians are talking about this talking about jerusalem because the spirit ain't with y'all to go into prophecy and deal with it so now you have to make the, the uh, argument while well, I'm agnostic when it comes to prophecy so that you don't have to break down prophecy. So all of these nations made mockery of us. They laughed. Okay. They were winning because of our fall. You know, us falling, uh, 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 you know, from our, you know, our, you know what we were. These, these heathen remember, they know who we are. So to see us in this dead state, the scriptures talks about how they were rejoicing. But after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the most high entered into them and they stood up on their feet. All right. And great fear fell on them. We saw them. All right. This is a cross reference to what Ezekiel, the 37 chapter talks about. See, after the prophets went out, which Ezekiel is symbolizing the prophets. OK, the dry bones would awaken. See, verse 10, Ezekiel 37 and 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up on their feet, an exceeding great army. And when that happened, and it's a spiritual army. All right. And when that happened, Revelation 11 and 11, and after three days and a half, the spirit of the most high from the spirit of life from the most high entered into them. See, they don't want you to live. They want you to be remain dead. Call yourself black. All right, uh, be be a drunk, you know, so-called Native American worshiping the hawk god. Okay, that do that. Anything but saying you an Israelite. So they have to come up with all of these questions, and we're just talking. We're not in the land bombing people. How many uh, so-called Palestinians, which is Arabs mixed with Elam, mostly Arab? How many of those people had to die? for the state of Israel to establish itself as a, as a power in the earth. And they're still going. How can that be ignored, but us just talking be the focal point? And we're the, the, the threat. <laughs> How many Christians have lost their lives to what is called Zionism? Huh? So how are we the threat? What have we done? Then you, you, you have these little secluded situations where some weirdo dude who may have been affiliated with Israel does something crazy. And that's just the talking point. And that's that 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 stigma is put on all of us when you Christians are absolute terrorists, have been and, and still are. The people who call themselves Christians historically have been detrimental to the earth and, and, and to this day. The people you work with that are Christians, look how they eat. Look how they carry themselves. They, they're not serious about the, 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 the most high. They're not serious about a goddamn thing. They just sit up there. Okay, here it is. You, you'll justify the talking in tongues. That, that, that garbage that goes on in the Christian church. But you have to ridicule us speaking Hebrew. Telling us we don't have the real Hebrew. But y'all can go into those churches and speak this unknown tongue. 
that nobody can interpret, but you got to scrutinize us speaking Hebrew. So really, you're just haters. You're, you're fulfilling this, and great fear fell on them which saw them. We've already broke down these particular points. You just walked up on a, a camp that wasn't ready. We, we admit that. And we ain't hating. We hope y'all learn and get better. But of course, we always going to be looked at as haters because we, you know, we're honest. You know, you have a bunch of people on the comment board bigging y'all up and y'all didn't defend the gospel to that Israelite camp. So, so at the end of the day, y'all through, man. And Vocab Malone, the Heavenly Father is using you for a very, very great service. You're waking our people up because, you know, you got people... You know, uh, uh, putting on a comment board that look, hey, uh, I didn't learn about the Israelites until vocab kept talking about y'all. Now I know. So you're helping to fulfill a prophecy. Okay. And yes, the curses are an indicator of who the Israelites are. See, because the Lord would have us in captivity. Let's get Jeremiah 30. 30 and 2 in the NLT. This is what the Lord God of Israel says. Write down for the record everything I have said unto you, Jeremiah. For the time is coming when I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel and Judah. And I will bring them home to this land. All right. That I gave to their ancestors. And they will possess it again like I have spoken. Okay. What is he saying? I'm going to bring again the captivity. I'm going to take them out of captivity. So if we're in captivity... And we're awakening in that captivity. We're awakening to why we're in this position. So, yes, we use the curses as a part of the understanding of who we are and why all of these, you know, uh, mishaps have, uh, 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 you know, come up on us, man. You know? So, you know, that's that. Hopefully I edify. We'll leave it at that. It's not, it, it really, it ain't, you know, these Christians come up. Hey, man, make them talk about the throne of David, man. Make them talk about the, 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 the kingdom. Go, no, we've answered all of your questions, man. But for the sake of edification, all right, we, we you know, we'll go into this debate, this back and forth between vocab and this camp, and we may edify on some things. That's just what we do. Other than that, hey, the, 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 the kingdom's coming. The, 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 the chip is coming. We're here. Shalom.